Hey guys, Zell here, and welcome back to my Azure Lane. Now, the event isn't out yet, but I figured we might as well do a little bit of collecting real quick before some things disappear. Also, do I even have Kavala? I don't think I do. Look at all the cute balloons and flowers and the delicious food as well. <laughs> Party is at the best. I do not have Kabbalah, but I have her skin now. That sounds kind of weird. Confirm. I, I, I literally can't have no other choice. And now this is a little illustrious coloring book. We had this one. This one. So I believe it's her getting candy. And this one with her sleeping and holding the candy. I kept this one for far too long. It is now the ninth. Almost one day to the point where I end up losing out on a little illustrious, and I cannot let that happen, so... That's why I'm starting right now before the event even starts. Thank you, Commander. I'm illustrious of the Royal Navy. We'll spread the holy light of love and peace all across the ocean, right? That we will. A few unicorn noises. Only head pats and hugs a lot, boys. But it was vox non incerta, or in English, no uncertain voice. Is among the try to pick up. Uh. Okay. Armored carriers should have. Uh. <laughs> Finally, I become a father. <laughs> wow. We have the... oh jeez. Little Lusty Ludes, wow. Why? She protected us for two years, now it's our turn to protect the smile. Lolly Lusty. Let's fortify the defense, I can already hear Ark in the distance. Uh, yeah, she would be coming over here. Little Lusty Lilsty. They're looting here. The lullifying beam spares no one. I shall love and cherish this precious creature. Alright. She is an A in aviation, a B in HP, and anti air. Take off. When the ship launches an airstrike, 40% cap to 70% chance to launch special level 1, cap to level 10. Swordfish airstrike, special airstrike damage is based on the skills level. And prayer for love and peace. 12 seconds after the battle begins, and 40% cap to 70% chance every 20 seconds after that, summons an air wing that carries out a special level 1 cap to level 10 airstrike which decreases hit rate against your ships a 30% for all the enemies hit by it. The steam buff will weaken over 4 seconds until it's gone. Special airstrike damage is based on the skills level. And I had to almost sneeze during that entire sentence, and that was really messing me up. Oh god. Luckily, it didn't happen. Lock Little Lusty. And now we have her. And with that, there's nothing else technically I need to do. I don't really need to do this. I don't even remember what the heck you do for this. Why don't they have the server you said in you was he won San Diego points? Yeah, you can complete all... What was the mini game? Oh, it's the matching game. Okay, I completely forgot that this even existed. And yeah, no, obviously I can't match that one. Did I really already not see any other matches? Like, seriously? There are no other matches that are close to each other. That one works. That one worked. That one does not work. God dang it. Nope. Shuffle. That works so much better. Wait, right, that's a lewd one. Oh crap. Maybe it didn't work half as well as I wanted it to? Come 
run. There we go. Evelyn is still on the other freaking side. Helena. There we go. Now I'm starting to see the end here. Almost. Just a little bit more. <laughs> Took me a minute and 21 seconds. Un retrofit tool sparkling microphone. Oh, that's how you can get her to retrofit. Okay. Well, either way. I believe. How many days do we have left? Skybound Prelude 7 1. Okay, so wait. The Prelude lasts until the July 1st. But the overture ends on the 10th, which means that the event might pop up on the 11th. That's two days from now. All right, well, obviously I can't do anything now, so I will be right back when we actually can. Oh yeah, Sir Kof just ended up reminding me I accidentally tapped on her and I got a quest. So she also is one of the secretaries that has a quest line. Now that I said that, be right back. Alright, now the event is actually out with Skybound Auditorio. And I was trying so hard to make room in my docks. I have 22 spaces left. And I've been... Every other day doing one of these So we have to finish all of these first then I need to go and uh, Put them on the back burner こんにちは。ごきげんよう。AKA。私は連合艦隊唯一の工作艦だにゃ。怪我をしたなら私に任せてほしいにゃ。でも I was not expecting to get an uh I was not expecting to get into Akashi. Okay then. <laughs> now that's literally one less space that we have. I had twenty-two spaces. So, yeah. Queen Elizabeth, I need one more copy of her to be able to spend both of them. Rodney's currently level 1. So is Fubuki, so I can't level them up. Tartu is still level 1, I believe. Well, actually, I believe... I, actually, I think I'll level Tartu up a little bit. Shion is still level 1. So is Black Prince. I need one more copy of Cleveland or a purple Boolean to be able to actually get rid of that copy of her. I could I could get rid of the two Kagas, but I haven't at this point. Will I? The world may never know. And now we can get Vakarin Algeri, Richelieu, Jean d'Arc. I wonder what her relationship is to Joan Bard. Probably nothing. I'm not entirely sure. So yeah, apparently these are the only four that are on Raid Up. Now, I I would very much love to do the whole, uh, if I get three or more, I'll get a skin. I literally don't have the money for that. I mean, I can see if I can pull something out of my arse. But I don't think it's gonna happen. Now, will we get all of the new ships? Hello, I hope. California. Nevada. Port London. Hi. Indianapolis. John Dodd. Alright. 
We got Joan Dark and FGO, and now we have Ernest. I am very happy with that. That she came home on my first 10 shot. She probably knows that I took very good care of her in FGO. <laughs> then she was the very first five star I ever got in FGO. RNG ain't got nothing on me. So thick and so hot. The swimsuit skin got a belly tat. Every gotcha game has to have John. John has the most beautiful cannon designs. 0.5%? Who decided that? <laughs> oh, and Jesus heard my prayers. Luminoste! Eternal! <laughs> A luminous eternal, yep. Totally. Didn't know that burning made Jean Dodd look stronger. Yeah, neither did I. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Her skills revolve around she becomes stronger when she's on fire. <laughs> Isn't that kind of messed up? Notice how all instances of Jean are blonde and beautiful. No kidding. 30 pulls and I'm just missing we share you. Game's good to me today. Uh, let her liberate me, Jean de Thick. Ponsu Seba. <laughs> Alright. She is a B in everything and a C in anti air. And a E in aviation, obviously. La Pucelle increases the ship's damage against Royal Navy ships by 4% cap to 10%. When the ship is burned, increases its firepower, torpedo, anti-air, and invasion by 10% cap to 20% for as long as it is burning. The ship will catch fire at the start of the battle, taking 8 damage every 3 seconds for 30 seconds. All non-burn damage is a 10% chance to refresh this burn duration. Wait. Wait. When this ship is burned, the ship will catch on fire at the start of the battle. She gets caught on fire at the start? <laughs> oh my god. She literally starts at burning. That's kind of messed up, to be honest. Um, 10 seconds after the battle starts, and every 20 seconds after that, deploy shields around your vanguard that last for 8 seconds. It can absorb up to 1.5% cap to 6% of your Jean d'Arc's max HP. If these shields take too much damage and break, the ships whose shield broke gets 100% invasion rate for 2 seconds. If the shield's duration simply runs out, it restores 70 HP to the ships with intact shields. After the battle starts and every 20 seconds after- Oh, dang! Every 20 seconds we get a shield. I actually kind of like Joan. Jeez! Well, I mean, I've always loved her, but still. And this? It's sad at the fact that she gets to put on fire literally at the start of a battle. But I mean, that literally also powers her up. So if you max this freaking out, she could do a lot. Not to mention also her buffs, her uh, shield buff right here to increase the absorption so that way she can always heal. I don't know, man. I feel like this might be a double-edged sword, but she also might be really powerful with the right combination. It's insane. Welcome home. Repulse. Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Northampton. Mm -hmm. Northampton. And Chicago. Alright, we got one new one. Not bad. Let's go for the second 10 shot. Are we get anyone new on our 20s? Chicago. Mm -hmm. Northampton. Terra. York. Bakalin. Bakalan. Okay, so she calls herself Bakalan. Bakalan. 
It's gonna be really hard because I always got a Vakali. <laughs> a Hoge or an anti air weapon, you decide. I mean, why not both? Heck. My little French destroyer can't be this cute. Witness the true might of a large destroyer. A Hoge makes a resemble brain bug from Starship Troopers. Really? This middle one right here. Really? She and her sister Cassaint were scuttled side by side at Toulon in 1942. That's as wide as her waist. No wonder she's a large destroyer. I'll heal the Ahoge Queen. <laughs> I wish I was a thigh strap. Of, of, of course. I would expect anything less. She's an A in firepower and A in speed in a C in torpedoes. So Nez La Charge. Increase the torpedo and evasion of your va Vakalin class DDs by 5% cap to 15%. Increase the ship's firepower and in AA and accuracy by 4.5% cap to 12% for 30 seconds after the battle starts. Sounds nice. And all out assault too. So wait, who, who count? Who else is a Vakalin ship? I don't know. Well, I don't remember at least. Shropshire. Bonnie. Well, there's another copy of her. Portland. Pennsylvania. In Nevada. So it sucks, but. I might have to get rid of my Rodnays, mainly because I still have her at level 1. If I were to just grind up purple booleans, I could easily make up for that. I just don't grind in this game half as much as I used to, mainly because I don't really need to. Tata 2 might be a Vakalin ship. Yeah, I'll get rid of the Rodnays for now. She doesn't seem to be that hard to get. I mean, that's what happens when I leave someone at level 1. I should have at least been leveling them up. Nope. Okay. Time for our third 10 shot. We get anyone new? Let's find out. And depending on how long hey, it takes for me to get them, if at all, this may entirely only be a gotcha. Arizona. Portland. We shall you, alright. Yes, I shall fight for freedom and faith. Thank you for coming home, we shall you. So we got you, Jean, and Bakelin. Totally, probably already messing up her name again. We got all three of you, so now there's one more. Step on me, Silvo Pla. What did, what did I just say? I mean, I understood the first part of that. Take me to church, oh god, it's a fast. <laughs> now we laugh at those who didn't get her. Wow, really? Why would you laugh at them? Tell me like one of those French girls. <laughs> My holy cardinal can't be this cute. Holy baguette acquired. Holy thighs save lives. It's finally time to confess our sins to the cardinal. We did it. The cardinal has arrived. All right, she's an A in HP and a C in speed, and that's it. Wow. All she's good for is a tank, really. The Iodus Flag Bearer. When sorting as the flagship, increases firepower, torpedo, accuracy, and reload by 5%, cap to 15% for your Iodus Libre and Visha Dominion ships. It also increases damage dealt by your Iris Libre ships by 1.5%, cap to 6%, and increases damage taken by your Visha Dominion ships by 1.5%, cap to 6%. Oh, yeah, she is definitely basically a freaking tank. And she's a major buffer as well, Jesus. So if you want to go for the damage route, go for Iris Libre. If you want to take less damage, go for Visha Dominion. 
That's actually really nice. The Iron Sword's Holy Flame. When a ship fires its main guns, 45% cast a 75% chance. The fire at level 1 kept at level 10. Special barrage damage is based on the skill's level. This barrage has a 70% chance to inflict special burn to enemies, dealing 119 damage per tick, and increase their firepower torpedo and of aviation by 5% for 30 seconds. Dang! So if that chance strikes... Wait. Yeah, it's a 70% yeah, chance always to inflict a special burn. But man, if that special burn hits, holy crap, they're gonna go down. The Iris's Vindication. While this ship has an HE main gun equipped, increases its main gun damage by 4.5% kept to 12%, this ship's first salvo of each battle will always be a critical hit if aimed manually. Well, that's kind of bad because I always play the game in auto. Unless I absolutely have to, so it's never going to be a critical hit. But if I'm forced to, then hey, I'm aiming it myself, sure. But how does the game know if I'm aiming it manually? I mean, it's not like they would ever know because the way I aim it, it's basically as if I'm auto aiming anyways. <laughs> Either way, we shall you. Welcome home. You seem like you'd be a really fun unit to try out. But until I unlock the next freaking ship from 2 million damage, I don't think I'm ever going to be putting you in a party. Though, if, say, we need a uh, Misha Dominion or Iris Libre in our team, then yeah. That'd be nice. Oklahoma. Hey. See, she's not hard to get. Shropshire. Algeri. Wait. Uh... You guys, I completely for one th forgot that Algeria was a thing. Two, was she on the banner? I swear I never saw her on the banner. I think, unless they forgot to put her as a super rare on the banner in a, what I read. I I, I don't know. I'm gonna need to go back and look, but if anything, we now have everyone from the banners. We're done after th what three pulls? Four? I'm okay with that. We get to save our cubes for the next banner. <laughs> hot her, hot her on my first pull, Yosh. We, well fast on ultra settings. Well fast, but French. One, two, three, Viva Algeri! French Belfast. Keep the meal officers away from this woman. Uh, Belfast jokes aside, doesn't change the fact she's really pretty. She was one of 77 vessels with French scuttled at Tolun to prevent German capture. Baguette Bel Belfast. Okay. Big ship girl. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Intensifies. Give the colony some love. Okay. She's an A and firepower, an A and HP, a C and anti air speed, and torpedoes. Bellowing gusts of fire. Creates your ship's damage against burning enemies by 5% cap to 15%, 20 seconds after the battle begins, and with a 40% cap to 70% chance. Whenever the ship fires its main guns, fires at level 1, cap to level 10. Barrage that has a chance to burn enemies, damage is based on skills level, has a 10 second cooldown if activated by the main guns firing. Not bad. And she also has Divine Aegis. At the start of the battle and once every 30 seconds after that, deploys a shield that lasts 20 seconds and can block up to 5 enemy torpedoes. While the shield is up, increases the ship's firepower by 5% to cap to 15%. 
His damage against DDs and BBs by 4.5% cap to 12%. Five seconds after manual mode, creature ships to evasion by 5% and cap to 15% and speed by 8%. Not 8%. 8 and switching to auto mode removes this buff. So wait. Wait, 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 what? So when you enter manual mode, sh you get the. Uh, yeah, yeah. So essentially, this only activates if you're in manual mode. And if you go to auto mode, the buff is gone. Wait, is this them t trying to tell me to pl actually play the game instead of just letting it be on auto all the time? Is that literally what they're trying to say? Are they insinuating something? <laughs> Either way, I'll show you. Welcome home. Oh, wow. She was the last one as well. Okay, so we got Richelieu and I'll show you both. SSRs. Or SR. Super rare, yeah in one pool oh no she was on the banner all right so we are Jean d'Arc, Richelieu, Algeri, and Vaclin that's all of them right yeah F four girls and the one who had the lowest chance to come home was the first one that came home Jean d'Arc. I guess she must really want to be in any gacha game I play. <laughs> yep. So that was literally what? Three ten shots? Four? I think I think it was only three. It could have been four. Either way, that's not bad, but hold on. I'm gonna go check and see type the event in online and see if there's any more ships. Cause I know that there's more ships for doing the event. I just want to see like which ones we can get. Okay, so yeah, one of them is a map drop and event shop, and the other is point accumulation. Oh, and Joan Dark is also an event shop. So if we come down to Let's build an exchange right here. Okay, so Burn right here, or Burn, however you say her name. You can get her five times from here. You can get Joan d'Arc maxed out if you grind massively for points here. Okay. I see you, game. I see you. And, yeah, Burn... So point accumulation, I'm assuming you need 10,000 points to get this ship. And why do I think that this ship, judging by what she looks like... Hold on. Right here. So, just by looking at this, anybody want to tell me what exactly the fetish is that people are going for for this ship? Because I can already see it. How about you tell me what uh what the comments on this ship are possibly going to be once we actually get her? I can only imagine. But I'm pretty sure I know what it is. So, yeah, you need 10,000 points, right? Like usual. Yep. Then you get La Gully Sonier. Please tell me I said that right. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I did. And out of all of the skins that are available, there are only four that are limit uh, live 2D. Let's go back to exchange. And then outfit store. Here's the Richelieu's 1180 gems. The Malin 1180. Jean Bard, 1,180. And Emile Batin, 1,080. Ah. Uh, Jones is literally 880. No, I'm so close. I mean, it's not live 2D, but we still get this nice image. 
All the shit I use, 880. Legalia. Legalis. Wow. I said her name flawlessly the first time. Legalis Sonieri. I said it flawlessly the first time. Obviously, I had trouble this time. Legalis Sonieri. Legalis Sonieri. Legalis Sonieri. I believe again that's how you say her name. His burn. Looking good. Buckling. Nice. D23 doubles. Obviously, the breezy doubles just has to be blocking Ayanami's face. Of course it does. Let tem Temerare. Bonsin. Astoria. Princey. Bonsin. St. Louis. Okay, so all of these are still still have six days left. Pinghai, Massachusetts. Albacore, Vittorio, Dito, Enterprise. All of these still look really great. Biloxi, Agano, Ninghai, Sussex, Haman, and Fordbean. Okay. Now, those are the skins that I want. Technically, I want this Jean d'Arc skin. Yes, it's not live 2D, but I honestly don't really care. I like the others as well, but again, 1180 isn't really my cup of tea. I think it's really 880, but this is at least the one I possibly could get. Albeit, if I didn't spend 200 to up my. Uh, Docks by plus 10. I could very well have been very close to getting one of these. Also, before I end this gotcha episode here, I just want to show something real quick. Memento. Memories. This is something I also ended up noticing when uh, I was doing the other thing. What is it? Moonlit Overture. Last time, it said that I missed out on two of these. I checked back on my old recording of this. I did every single thing. These last two evenly matched in Overture were missing in my freaking memories. Literally. They were not here. They're now finally here because I ended up redoing the event. I was going to record something if I somehow actually missed something. I didn't. The game just didn't count it. I don't know why. And now what really ticks me off is that I have every other thing done, but oh look at that. Zero of five. If anyone actually saw that episode, you know that I did every one of these. I didn't show any of the fights, I just showed the story. So, fight on Royal Maids. I did every last one of these. I have proof I did every last one of these. But it still shows zero or five. And it's screwing me over and annoying the absolute hell out of me that out of every th single event that I have done, that is literally the only one that is zero out of five, even though I have done it. I've done every single thing that has come out in this game. Obviously, except for Skybound Auditorial, which is literally the event that we're going to be doing in the next episode. This annoys me to no end that it's zero of freaking five. Now, do I really want to c contact uh, Yostar and see if they can fix it? Would they be able to? I don't know. Is it even worth doing? I mean, for my sanity, yes. Because I, I don't want <laughs> everything to show incomplete. Why it doesn't count this, I don't know. I just wanted to show that. I just wanted to show my pain a little bit. <laughs> 
Why does it do that to me? <laughs> it sucks. But yeah. With that, I'm going to end this gotcha, surprisingly enough, episode here. And it didn't actually uh, suck me dry my resources. I was expecting this to go south really fast. We actually got really lucky on this banner. Speaking of which, you know what? Grab the room. I think I might have the room, right? I think I should. We're going to do something one more time. And that is this one again, the wishing well. That is going away on the 17th. Lena, can you come home? I'm trying for you one last time, and then I'm ending the episode. Since this is gotcha-based episode, there's Black Prince, Kuln, Hatsuharu, Montpellier, Kameto, Bulldog, Jupiter, Mizuki, Fox the Hound, Let's go. Hey, we got someone new. Let's go. Let's go. I was expecting her to continue talking. No, she didn't. May girls shall rule the seas. 80 cues to protect your smile. Wish she will have a VA soon. She does right now. Took me 60 or so cubes. First roll in this mid is hired immediately. I mean, hey, we got her. Not bad, not bad at all. B in fire para, torpedoes, speed, in A in aviation. Swift defender. While the ship is afloat, decrease the damage the main fleet takes by 3.5% cap to 8%, and decrease the torpedo and main gun damage the ship takes from D enemy DDs and CLs by 1% cap to 10%. That's full firepower, and that is all out assault. I mean, I can't really be, I can't really complain. We just got someone new right off the bat. So I will try it one more time. I just need to retire. Ten more ships. And then we should be good to go. Technically, all I have to do is eight. I had enough for almost two, I believe. So yeah. Lena, last try. Unless I get someone new and then I'll go one more time. This is how the other gotcha ended up being almost an hour. Oh my god. Helena, I wanted you, but I wanted your smaller version. Really? Please? There she is. <laughs> oh my god, I thought the game was trolling me after it gave me Helena. Actually, I probably think it was. But right after it gave me Lena. Alright. I can't really be. I can't really complain after them giving me Lena after Helena. That was a nice spook, though. <laughs> this is a no looting zone. Protect small Helena. A defeat line. Everyone concrete fire on those targets. Conc wait. Did I really just say concrete? Concentrate fire on those targets. She dropped when I was trying to get Ga Glasgow. Well, not as strong as Big Helena. She's still pretty good and tries her best. That's build of event. No busy gut Lena, though. Give her voice now. Helena X Cleave Bro is still a thing, even smallified. She's so sweet, must protect. Purple Verity, Gold Heart. Then it exists, Shikikan, I must pet this creature. 
Desire to act strong. He misses justice. All right. You got it. He and five power, speed, anti-air, C and HP. Youthful light. Every 20 seconds, 30% counts a 60% chance to decrease firepower to appeals and aviation of all enemies, but 4.5% counts to 12% for 10 seconds. So, if you level this up, it'll obviously increase the chance, but the capped part is 60%, so it'll only go up to 60. I mean, still better than 40% chance for not succeeding. 30% chance when an anti-air gun in your fleet fires increases the ship's anti-air by 5% cap to 25% additionally once per battle. If Little Sandy or Cleveland, Cleveland HP falls below 40%, increases the ship's firepower and accuracy by 5% cap to 25% for 15 seconds. Speaking about that, do we have Little Sandy? I think we do. Either way. It only took like nine million cubes, but we finally got her. Hi, hi. How does it do, hey? Junction. There's the final copy we ever would need of Black Prince. There's another Black Prince. Kisaragi. Leander. Tony's bug. And Urakaze. Okay. We've gotten way, way, way too many Black Princes. Like, really? We have six of them! Technically seven! Because one of them is level The first one we ever got is still level one! So... Let's see... Her level break... To go to level 80... 90... We only need four, so we can get rid of two. But still. This is how many Black Princes we got while on a hunt for one Lena. It's actually kind of sad. Also, what level is Akashi right now? Do we even need that copy of her? No, we don't. Because I ended up using Golden Bruleens to get her all the way up to max. Because I wasn't expecting to actually just randomly get a, an Akashi copy. God freaking dang it. <sighs> Did I show what Akashi sh says when she's in love? I know what I sh I know I showed it when she was, uh, had a crush. What exactly does she say when she's in love? Hi. Akashi Kamisama no ya. Probably just totally butchered that. <laughs> okay, well, she's in love. Um, I don't think Lemaline is. Mainly because I haven't actually brought her out into combat. And they maxed out secretary going to I think 90 or 80. Either way, uh Lamalin. Lamalin, where are you? Oh yeah. Uh to help if I have all ships being able to be found. Lamalin is right here. <laughs> you see, even with with her being on a crush status, she still would rather just go home and sleep. <laughs> she is totally my spirit animal. <laughs> And yeah, yeah, see, Secretary's a Captain 90. Ugh. It was so nice when Secretary's literally could just reach 100 without ever actually seeing battle. It was so nice. But... That ain't happening now. Either way... 
Now that we got Lena, we can finally got here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next one. Well, hopefully we have enough cubes for whatever banner comes out next. I am severely still hoping for a Neptunia rerun. So I can try my hand at spending every last bit of cubes and still not getting Blackheart or Noir. If I got them at the very beginning, I'd be extremely happy, and then I would have the full Neptunia cast, and then we can move on. Alright, Denver. So, yeah. See you guys in the next one, which will be the event that I will end up doing, but first I need to actually edit this and upload this, so at least I have something up. So if you're seeing this now, I will be currently recording Skybound Auditorio. And I also really, really need to put my girls in the dorm. Oh, wait. Before that, get my affinity up with Akashi. You know, technically I don't need to anymore. Shop. The Iris Countryside. Sakura Empire Shop. You have so many coins. Spooky Mansion. Oh, wait, yeah, let's get Iris Countryside. Quick buy. Buy. Wait, what? You can you can just leave the rest of those there, really. Meh. Close. Let's actually. If I can even remember how the hell to do this. I just country use. So what? It's not actually putting it there on its own. I would literally have to do it myself. Anyway, it's fine. And we we own everything now. This looks nice. Though I need to actually change the girls that are actually here. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, see you guys later.